hardship. Iremi Tinubu, the first lady of Nigeria, sent strong message to Nigerian youth, insist no food for lazy man. <laughs> now wow, these people just they take Nigerians, they play. Nigerians are not lazy people. Nigerians are strong people. Nigerians are very creative. In the world today, anywhere, Nigerians, Nigerians, they stand out. We just get bad leaders who not get our interests for heart. You understand? This is really very bad. Saying no food for lazy man. Who lazy for Nigeria? Even with the current situation in this country today, Nigerians, they still just struggle. Are they, are we, are, are Nigerians, are they actually asking for too much? Give us, give our children jobs. Make life, make life, you know, easy for us. Build road, build, build hospitals, build their schools. Reduce this, everything that is happening today. All this economy, high economy, high inflation. Ma put her like that. This is not funny. Anyway, guys, Nigerians did not even wait a second to reply her. But make we hear from her. As the economic has she bright harder, President Tinubu wife has sent an important, important message to youth in Nigeria. The first lazy lady on Thursday encouraged Nigerians, especially the youth, to be hard working while maintaining that there is no food for lazy man. At the palace of Oni of Ife, Oba Adeyeyi, in Uleife, Ocean State, Remy Tinubu maintained that President Tinubu is not the cause of Nigeria's current hardship. He said there is no food for the lazy man. Even God walked for six days and rested on the seventh day. Nigeria is a land that is flowing with milk and honey, but we need to sustain it for generations to come. God has richly blessed my family before getting to presidency, and we are contented with what we have. We are not greedy, Tinubu's wife says, President Tinubu, not the cause of economic problem. Rem, Remy Tinubu tells Nigerians to grow something. Why Nigerians should be patient with Tinubu? Oba of Lagos explained, aimed, uh, Oba of Lagos explained, in first lazy visit. Hey, Nigerians don't talk, make we hear from them. This laziness was brought by APC, exactly. You have every right to speak from your senseless brain woman. If you said there is no food for lazy man, if I should ask you, your son is 38 or 39 in age, how did he make his money? If you said Nigerian citizens they are lazy. I think you are useless and senseless woman. If Nigeria is a better country until Niger your husband, <laughs> I beg, I not talk this one again. You see, Nigerians are really very angry, you know, with what uh, Madam Tinubu just said. Sometimes it's better you just keep quiet when you look at situations on ground. Nobody is happy with the situation. Uh, good and fine. Uh, during Muhammad Buhari time, Nigerians, you know, uh, Nigerians complained. Nigerians complained, thinking that if another president emerged, life would be better. But President Muhammad, uh, President Bola Metinubu, had worsened everything. For the wife to tell us that no food for a lazy man, Nigerians, Nigerian youth, are they lazy people? The other time. She was in a, she was in a, in a house telling Nigerians to go to farm. She's in a garden, you know, cultivating uh, vegetables and all that. And you are asking people to go to bush when bandit and Boko Haram have taken over. Your husband is the president. We don't have, we don't have, um, we don't have a security in Nigeria. You understand? You want people to go and go and buy by these people. This is not fair. Like as I said, sometimes it's better you just keep quiet. Don't talk. Someone just asks question. Your son is out. 
your son have graduated, where, where is he working? Which institution is he working? Which organization is he working? And he has too much money as well. So you see, uh, these people, they are taking Nigerians for granted. And this shows you that there is no solution to the problem or grant. Nigerians, at the drop up for you. I beg, share your thoughts below the comment section. If this is your first time of coming out here, please subscribe to this channel. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.